Hi, this is Andy Scott with North Shore Apartments and Condos. I'm walking into 824 Wesley, number one. This is a super nice one bedroom. And if we walk through the front door and turn to our right, we see the living room. Another hard right would take us to the dining room and the kitchen. If we go just a little over and straight ahead, we get our first shot at the bathroom. And left from there is the bedroom. I'll come back and show you the bedroom and the bath, but there is a nice entry closet that we can look at before we get into the uh, living room. So there we see the hanging bar and the shelf. The, uh, the floor space shows us it's about maybe four feet, well, let's call it three feet across and not quite two feet deep. So it's a very adequate um, entry closet with lots of hanging. Room for hanging coats, etc. Now we came in the front door there. Whoops. The light's going to be challenging. There we go. We're getting into that mid afternoon time where some shadows are starting to be thrown. This is the living room. It's really a very pretty room. You can see that the floors are in just fabulous shape. The walls are also really well finished, too. There's none of the imperfections that I'm used to seeing with vintage apartments. The radiator is uh, nicely finished even. Lots of outlets, um, a ceiling fan. The windows are newer in the last couple of years. The windows are facing east here toward the lake. If I walk toward the windows, you'll see that we're looking out onto Wesley. So Main Street's just to the uh, left about a half a block. So it's really a pretty convenient uh, location and street parking is super easy. Now, if I turn around and face the, the living room the other way, we see the windows in the dining room. So we get our first glimpse of the dining room. Uh, again, we have a nice sized living room, a ceiling fan, and I will walk towards the dining room. Now there's a little space here that's sort of a, a no man's land between the two and you can see you get your first glimpse of the kitchen. The electricity is off in the apartment and because the uh, apartment is east facing the kitchen is in kind of a shadow right now but it's really a nice kitchen and I will show it to you in a little bit. If I walk into the kitchen just a smidge you get a better look at the dining room. The windows here are facing west, and again, they are newer windows. Another ceiling fan, lots of outlets on all the walls. Internet comes into the living room. It comes, also comes into the dining room. Again, we have a nice size um, radiator, which you don't need this time of year, but you will eventually. That's the view outside the windows. But if you look at the windows, they're newer vinyl windows and they have argon between the spacers. Argon being 300 times as dense as air, it really does a great job baffling both weather and sound. It also keeps the apartment nice and quiet. So the dining room's a little smaller than the living room, probably about eight feet across or so, and maybe 11 feet, 10 or 11 feet long. Certainly big enough for a six-person table, maybe more. Great office area. There we have another look at the living room, the ceiling fan, and now we'll take a look at the kitchen. See a beautiful new stainless steel fridge, lots of cabinets, microwave, full-size stainless steel hood, uh, rock countertops, deep stainless steel sink with uh, a uh, fixture with a hose attachment, really nice. Uh, more, a little bit more cabinet space and a full-size dishwasher. So let's start with this sink, test the water pressure. We'll go just all the way to the hot. Turn it on, you can see it's really good, which I knew it would be. This is a nice building. Everything is emptying or draining right. We'll turn that off. You get a look at the rack countertop. And there's actually quite a bit of counter space here, which is very unusual for a vintage kitchen. The floor is beautiful. This is newly laid. It's a laminate, but it's beautiful. It's really a nice laminate, high end. 
Underneath is nice and dry, able to use for storage. The dishwasher next door is a full-size dishwasher, ready to go. We have just a little bit of cabinetry next to it. We have a drawer and a thinner, let's see if we can see that, not too easily, but it's a thinner uh, cabinet that's deep, so it's good for cookie sheets, that kind of thing. The back door goes down to laundry and a little tiny little backyard area. I shouldn't say tiny, but little backyard area. Whoops, it is. And there's the fridge, more counter space, and we're right about to check the stove. Stove is a full size stove, nice and clean, nice and clean inside too, which is great. So that's ready to be used. And if I step back a little, you can see it's basically stainless steel, as is the microwave. And that is also squeaky clean. Oh, I'm throwing shadows. We have small cabinets above the microwave, a slender cabinet next to it, and a corner cabinet. These tend to be a little deeper, like you see there. But it's basically two feet high, and uh, the cabinets are, with the exception of the corner cabinets, the shelving would be about 10 inches deep. So they're nice cabinets. And we've got a fair amount of them too. So here's like your standard cabinet. Now we have another standard one and then the smaller cabinet next door. Got a beautiful backsplash. The tile is in great shape. You can see it's just super clean. Lots of outlets for all the various kinds of appliances that can be used. We have drawers underneath. We have a whole bunch of drawers. And then the cabinets underneath are really nice because they're deeper. So you can put pots and pans or appliances. You can see that one goes back to the left a little ways. And we've got more cabinet space over there. So it's really a superior kitchen. Superior in terms of space, surface space, the appliances are super nice, the cabinets are much more than average, and the, uh, and the floor is actually beautiful too. So there's the fridge with a meat drawer, or, um, crisper drawers, butter dish, the uh, freezer, it's a very good size. I think this is probably about five feet, eight inches high. It has a very nice, very nice stainless steel finish. So I'm going to step out for a second, back into the dining room with nice light, beautiful hardwood floors, ceiling fan, and I'll just step back and take another look at the kitchen. Beautiful stainless steel appliances. Great rock countertops. I would say that's like an oak finish. Maybe uh, I don't think it's quite dark enough to be cherry. But even your sink is a little bit nicer. Stainless steel, a little bit deeper. Nice fixture. Back, back door will take you down to laundry and storage. So we uh, take another look at the living room. Facing east, nice and light. The dining room, whoa, there we go. The kitchen we just finished looking at. We're heading back towards the front door. But of course, before we get there, we'll take a look at the back, which is also super clean. First thing you notice is the glass block window. You see the tile is almost totally flawless. Again, we have new laminated floors, but they're very pretty, very high end. Nice clean tank toilet. Beautiful tiling all the way around. There is a towel bar and a radiator. And the tub is like flawless as well. So let's check the water pressure. We'll go all the way to hot. Water pressure is good. Oh yeah, that's coming out really well. There we go. So that's super nice. I don't think this is, I think you just have a mirror. 
So I'm going to step back just a little bit. You have a fixture over the mirror, and then you have light cans, uh, um, a vent, and uh, another light can. So you've got lots of light in here. Oh, the electricity is off. Sorry about that. Really, they did a nice job in planning this. This is the sink, and that's the hot water. Underneath, I know it would be nice and dry. Oops, there we go, and it is. Everything is draining very well. And that's about it, I think. Let me see if there's anything I missed. We talked about the tiling, the uh, towel bar, the uh, radiator, glass block window with a big vent. That's a much bigger vent than usual. Uh, we have another a uh, fan and vent there to help keep the bathroom clean and dry. The shower head's about 6'4", so that's nice and tall. Nice sink with a nice big cabinet underneath, tank, toilet, and beautiful floor. So that's really, the uh, bath and the uh, kitchen in this apartment are really superior. Then you have a nice, nice standard size vintage bedroom. I would say this is big enough for a queen size bed. I think a king size bed would be a little tight. Ceiling fan, beautiful hardwood floors. Windows facing east. And if I swing around from the window, you see a nice, oh, something like a big closet. So this is a nice big walk-in closet. If we look at the floor space, it's probably three plus feet deep by three feet across. We have a shelf and a hanging bar. I step in the closet. You get a nice look at the bedroom. Again, certainly a full or a queen would fit here. Probably about 10 by 10 and 10 by 9, something like that. Uh, it's a great apartment. Super clean. Nice space. Good separation of space. And that brings us back to the front door. Thank you for watching.